Hi, this is Nina Nesbitt and this is my Glamour Festival for Life. My formula for a cracking TikTok musical is find an issue. I've done a lot about fuckboys because I think it is a real big issue at the moment, especially during lockdown. I kind of did it as a bit of a joke and then it turned into like a bit of a thing. My daily mantra is, now this sounds really morbid, but I'm gonna die one day. It's inevitable for all of us, we're all gonna die. Enjoy your life while you're here, make the most of it. Stop caring about these little things. Just live your best life. I definitely have waves when it comes to my mental health. Some weeks and months I'm feeling on top of the world, really confident, and then other months I'm a complete mess. So I think, yeah, just sitting through it, riding through it and knowing that it will pass is actually weirdly comforting. Music has helped me deal with a lot. I had terrible anxiety as a teenager and music was the only thing that really calmed me down. It's definitely like a form of therapy for me. It's also taken me around the world, which is amazing. The one thing I couldn't live without, I wanna say my phone because I'm addicted to it and that's really embarrassing, but it's true. Actually, I would quite like to live without my phone, but unfortunately my job doesn't let that happen. Best thing that I've learned this year is probably that everyone's been having weird breakdowns on social media, including myself. I just think I was way more insecure before the pandemic. I really struggled with failure as a young kid and I think it was the root of a lot of my anxiety problems. I put this insane amount of pressure on myself to succeed and exceed expectations all the time. I don't know what it's, I don't know what that's about. Maybe I should ask my therapist. <laughs> I've learned as I've got older and experienced failure, failure is actually a huge blessing because without failure, there's no success. Do you know what I mean? You don't know what success is without failing. The quirkiest thing I've done in the name of wellness. One time on tour, I was in Oregon. I went to this like really strange um, cult village. It's like a cult community. The Ubers weren't allowed to pick us up there. There was no Ubers, anything like that. It was all very much like off the grid. It was a great spa day and I would recommend it to anyone. The best piece of advice I've ever been given is by my boyfriend. It's quite a funny one, but I think I apply it to anything in life. Writing a song is a lot like doing a fart. If you have to force it, it's probably shit. And I think that I apply that to anything in life. If anything feels forced or unnatural or just not authentic, you shouldn't be doing it. I feel truest to myself when I come home at the end of the day and I take my makeup off, put my hair up on top of my head, put my trackies on and sit down on the sofa and binge watch anything that's on TV. My relationship mantra, you never lose with love because either you're with the person you're supposed to be with, it's all going great and you're winning, or things have gone to shit and they've broken up with you, your heart's broken, whatever it is, you feel like shit, but you're still winning because you're not supposed to be with that person and they've actually done you a favour in the long run because you're going to go and meet someone even better. My instant mood booster, whenever I'm doubting myself, I put on Bills, Bills, Bills by Destiny's Child because it's just an absolute banger. 